socialite Tara Palmer Tomkinson left her two pounds. Three million fortune to the children she never had in a will she wrote 13 years before her death. The former IT girl made the will in 2004, leaving her estate to her children once they reached 25. She was found dead by her cleaner in her £4 million Kensington apartment in February age at 45. Her estate, which was valued at £2.34 million after her affairs were settled, will now be passed to the families of her ski firm boss brother James and author sister Santa Montefiore. The Sun reported, in an interview in April last year the socialite said she regretted her wild party lifestyle, saying, I'd like to go back to that young girl and shake her. I did things I'm very ashamed of. I put my family through so much. I thought I'd be married and have two children by now. I imagined I'd be living in the country. Single quote. In what is believed to be one of her last interviews. She told the Daily Mail's weekend magazine about her quest to make her family proud. And Miss Palmer Tomkinson died peacefully in her sleep from a perforated stomach ulcer. According to her sister, the grieving author insisted her 45 year old sister was in high spirits in the run up to her death. Following the news of her sudden death, her close friends, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, were among the first to pay. Tribute. Charles and Camilla said they were deeply saddened and our thoughts are so much with the family. Miss Palmer Tomkinson rose to fame in the 1990s as a hard partying it girl. A regular on the London party scene, she frequently hit the headlines with her extravagant lifestyle and revealing outfits. She had a well documented battle with cocaine, spending up to £400 a day at the height of her addiction. She nearly died from an overdose and needed septum reconstruction surgery. Miss Palmer Tomkinson had appeared on numerous reality TV shows, coming second to Tony Blackburn on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, in 2002. But in recent years she became a virtual recluse as a result of her drug addiction and a nervous breakdown. She never married but had relationships with a number of high-profile businessmen and pop stars, including Duran Duran keyboardist Nick Rhodes. In what is understood to be the her last interview, she told the Mail how her biggest regret was trusting people too easily in the 90s when she was at the height of her popularity. In it, she said, People still think I'm a party-crazy girl, but I'm 45 now and I live a much quieter life and they think I live off a trust fund, but I've always earned my own money. Single quote. In another, previously unpublished interview with the Sunday People, she opened up on her fight with drug addiction and her desire to turn her back on the lifestyle. You can say no to drugs. I don't know why I did it, she said. You go to these rehab places and they tell you what you are. But I got it wrong. Single quote.